Every minute of every day, your customers are interacting with you. They receive messages over channels like email, SMS, push, personalized experiences on the website and in mobile applications. They see your banners on Facebook or Google and they call your call center. Every single one of these interactions is touched by the topic of data governance. Every interaction contains personal information and for every interaction, a different identifier is used to recognize the customer. Take a step back and think about your organization and how the different applications you use on a daily basis work. Without any doubt, every application is using its own database. Every application identifies the customer in a different way and every application has its own segmentation engine and its own idea about what the best offer for the customer is. All these applications have one thing in common. They're all siloed, they don't really share any information. Raw data is kept in each silo and there's no such thing like a single view of the customer as all applications have their own limited view of who the customer is. Segments are specific to the silo in which they are built and offers are also unique to the silo in which they were defined. From a data governance perspective, it's clear that this situation doesn't help you in properly managing customer data and customer consents. Additionally, the situation also doesn't help you to design and deliver exceptional customer experiences in an omnichannel world. Before focusing on the data governance part, let's first define the ingredients of an exceptional customer experience. The main ingredients are data, profile, content and communication. There are many point solutions available in the market that focus on data and profile. There also exist many point solutions that focus on content and profile. And there are equally many point solutions that can help you optimize and deliver messages to your customers. Unfortunately, all these point solutions are siloed. And while they do great things on their little island, they don't help you to design and deliver omnichannel customer experiences. The only way to prepare your organization for the future of customer experiences is to ensure that you have access to a single platform that makes it possible to combine data, profile, content, and communication. That spot in the middle, where everything comes together, is the sweet spot where you can find Adobe Experience Platform. The moment where you're finally able to combine data, profile, content, and communication in one single platform, that's the moment where you'll be able to evolve your manual siloed experience design and your manual and error-prone data governance strategy to a fully automated and secure omnichannel approach. Let's zoom in on the most important data strategy topics. Let's start with data. When we talk about data, every brand's goal is to accelerate the time to value. Every organization today stores a huge quantity of customer data in a data lake without really being able to use that same data to impact customer experiences. The main reason for this challenge is the existence of an internal conflict of interest. The guardians of the data look at that data and their goal is to protect it. The guardians of the data decide how the data can and cannot be used. On the other side, marketers want to use that same data to design superior customer experiences. The guardians of the data want to respect regional corporate legal and contractual regulations, but those regulations and limitations aren't clear to the marketers, which leads to marketers not feeling confident to take on a data-first mindset. The guardians of the data and the marketers speak different languages and they use different applications. As such, it's not easy for the business teams to use data while respecting regulations, which leads to long and complex internal procedures to get permissions to use specific data for marketing. The customer profile is the most strategic part of your organization. The customer profile is used to consolidate all data that's collected from clients onto one single profile. CRM data, transactional data, website interactions, mobile application interactions, call center interactions, and much more are grouped into the unified profile of your customer together with the various consent levels and customer identifiers. While everybody will agree on the need for a single unified 360 degree view of your customer, in reality, most brands have 15 different customer profiles and can only dream of merging those all into one single actionable profile. Your clients want to be respected and want to have choices. You and your organization need to offer choices to your customers. A customer wants to decide how he or she wants to communicate with you, wants to decide what data is collected and how that data will be used. And you and your guardians of the data have to offer choices and have to respect those choices. 
When managing customer profiles and customer data, it's also important to understand that it takes a long time to create a trust relationship with your customers. But it only takes a single mistake to break that trust. It's crucial to protect your customers' data, and it's as crucial to protect your employees so that no mistake can be made when working with customer data. Finally, we're seeing a big evolution today regarding customer identification. As you're aware, third-party cookies will soon disappear completely. The digital ecosystem has always been very dependent on these third-party cookies, and we're already seeing less value when using them today. You and your organization need a new plan to create a future-proof identity management approach in which other customer identifiers will be even more important than they already are today. You need to invest in a new approach which allows you to recognize your customers using durable identifiers such as encrypted customer identifiers, email addresses or phone numbers. The third part which is impacted by data governance is the communication between you and your customers. All data that is collected is subject to regulations and policies as already mentioned before. To date there's a big focus on the usage of customer data and how to use that data in the context of customer experiences. When you want to personalize a customer experience, you'll need to use personal customer data. It's required to understand which data is used at which moment, for which use case, who can access that data in which context, and whenever needed to restrict access for certain users when their reason for accessing the data isn't valid. When we speak about communication, we speak about activation. Activation in the context of marketing touches several topics, like segmentation, and destinations that are used by the marketing teams. Facebook, Google, Twitter, and every other search, display, or social media platform has its own way to handle customer data. Some types of data are allowed, while others aren't. All these procedures and limitations have to be clear for everyone in your organization. The question at the beginning of this video was how to think about data management and data governance when choosing a CDP. Allow me to specify the requirements to implement a future-proof data governance strategy. 1. You need to have access to a common platform where the guardians of the data and the marketers can work together. In this platform, data analysts will label data based on the type of data that's being collected. The data guardians then need to define the policies that define what can and cannot be done with the data that is labeled, who can see the data, who can use it, and to which destination that data can be shared. And finally, you need a platform that enforces all these policies automatically to protect your customers and your employees. Two, as you know, collecting customer consent is key for all the customer experience use cases, but collecting consent isn't the only thing. You need to be able to use that consent automatically in all your marketing campaigns and communications to ensure that your customers' choices are respected. GDPR in Europe, CCPA in California, CNIL in France and other regulations ask that you respect your customers by giving them access to their data, that you give them the power to change that data and that you allow your customers to delete that data that is connected to them. As such, you need a central point in your organization to manage access, change and deletion requests. With the privacy service, your CDP has to help you to handle those customer requests as soon as possible and also has to help communicate and apply those changes towards all the channels and applications that are used to speak to the customer. Recognizing your customer in the digital world is increasingly difficult with third-party cookies decreasing in value. So you also need to have a platform that allows you to use durable identities instead of cookies going forward. Three, ensuring that data governance policies are respected isn't only about managing user access to the data lake. It also has to guarantee that all the policies that are defined are enforced automatically when a segment is created, when a segment is sent to a destination, and when somebody wants to use data for a use case that isn't allowed. You need to have a clear view on data lineage, which helps understand where data comes from, how that data is transformed, and how that data is being used. To design and deliver exceptional customer experiences tomorrow, you need to clean up yesterday's legacy mess of poorly integrated point solutions with the goal of implementing a single platform that combines data, profile, content and communication into one ecosystem. That platform will then give you the possibility to put the customer in the center of everything, to personalize the customer experience everywhere, online and offline, using the same data and intelligence in real time. 
Your customer interacts with you across channels like websites, mobile applications, call center, point of sales, CRM, and many more. And this same customer receives personalized communication across destinations like display, search, social, email, SMS, push, and more. Every single communication has to be aligned, orchestrated, and coordinated in real time. All data that is collected needs to be labeled and classified in real time. And the policies that were defined need to be activated in real time. And those policies need to be applied in segmentation, data access, and destination forwarding, all in real time. The communication between you and your customer needs to be real time and contextual, just like a conversation between you and me. Managing the identity graph using durable identifiers and managing customer consent who both have to be evaluated and applied also in real time, are the most important building blocks of a future-proof customer experience management platform.